Hello and welcome to Tidbeats. My name is Constantine and in today's episode I want to expand on my previous topic, using Gatekeeper as a modulation source in Bidwig. Today I want to focus on polyrhythmic modulation. So let's get started. I've already created a short beat looping in the background. The element I want to focus on are the chords. I've already opened up the device chain and the two most important elements in this chain are the polysynth generating the audio signal and the gatekeeper in front which we will be using to generate the modulation signal. The modulation signal is then picked up by the audio rate modulator and the audio rate modulator is in turn modulating the filter cutoff frequency. So let's open up get gatekeeper and add some motion. I've already prepared two envelopes, one looping after every four beats and the other one looping after every three beats. All that's left is adding two gate signals. So let's do that. And there we have some movement, but to make things more interesting, let's add a gate signal to the second envelope as well. And now you can already hear a polyrhythmic pattern given that those two envelopes loop after a different amount of beats. To make things even more interesting, we'll animate the curve of the first envelope. In order to do that we have to select the point and select automate from the context menu. This makes the parameter available in the parameter list. I've already set up a slow moving random source that I will now use to modulate this parameter. And now we have an ever evolving, ever changing modulation source. That's all I had for today. Thank you for listening and see you next time.